As if out of nowhere, because the community certainly haven't been talking about it at all. Rare comes at us with a new news video about bringing a few changes to the game in future updates. The first, of course, being anti-cheat. Yes, indeedy, it was confirmed today that Rare are bringing a leading brand anti-cheat system to Sea of Thieves soon, which will help combat the cheating pandemic that has caused a few people some headaches over the months. And honestly, I cannot emphasize the word few anymore. Although there has been a spike in cheating players since the release of Season 8's Hourglass mechanic, I don't think the actual pool of cheating players has increased nor decreased. It's just having a very exclusive PvP mode with very lucrative cosmetics to be gained, has of course brought all the naughty boys to the yard, and of course join emphasis to the problem. Actual blatant cheaters are pretty obvious when you see them, but I think a lot of reports and complaints are just people throwing out the cheater excuse because the other crew was just, well, better than them. But anti-cheat is coming. But here's the thing, it's actually always been here. You see, an anti-cheat program isn't a be-all surefire way to get rid of cheaters. Any game that has an anti-cheat system still sees cheaters on a regular basis. The actual work is done by the game developers. Let's try and explain this. So this barrel is a cheat, and here's the developer sending out fixed bananas to stop this cheat from working. The cheater then finds a way around this defense, and then the developer then deploys more fixes. And then the cheater fixes those fixes, and before you know it, it's a literal Matrix fight scene. The developers have been very hard at work trying their best to combat the problem, but with an anti-cheat, it's essentially like hiring a bodyguard. Instead of just the developer combating the problem, they've also enlisted some seasoned cheat-fending veterans who help them combat about the system. It increases prevention, yes, but doesn't stop the problem. Cheating in any online service is always a problem, and 99% of the time, the complaints are usually amplified by people accusing better players at cheating. But hey, that's the lovely online world we live in. But the news is in, and anti-cheat is coming to Sea of Thieves. We have not been told when, because obviously that's like handing a menu to those who make cheat scripts, but it will be soon, so watch this space. Moving on, now we do have something very controversial to talk about, where updates to combat are involved, and we'll get to that in a moment. But first, I want to talk to you all about the best gun in the game, the sword. The sword has been in dire need of a balance pass for the longest time. I always refer to it as the Sword of Reach, as it has an uncanny ability to hit you when you're nowhere near it. In Season 10, sword combat will be getting some huge changes. Firstly, block will now be more consistent and block incoming attacks from a larger radius. The first person who gets the initial strike in combat will be able to finish their combo without getting hit in between, also known as Noodle Arm, forcing the other player to block the attack, which should now hopefully work. Sword range will be reduced and be more consistent to the actual sword length, so no more getting sworded in the back when you jump off the ship when you were nowhere near the hit, and the damage indicators will be more consistent, so when you see the player react to a hit, you actually did hit them. Basically, sword combat is reverting back to the Shrouded Spores update, which in my opinion was the most balanced the sword has ever been. So, good stuff. Moving on to another hot topic, and no, this isn't the controversial part yet, that will come. Hit Reg! Hit Reg is getting a vast improvement and updates to come, and will finally be more consistent than it has ever been. For those who don't understand Hit Reg, let me explain. This is you. And this is your enemy. You fire your shot, and then you miss because you suck, and then you blame it on Hit Reg. No, but seriously, Hit Reg has always been a consistent problem in any online environment, but within Sea of Thieves it's always been a much larger problem. Basically, because unlike other fast action shooters, Sea of Thieves is a lot more technical. Let me explain. So in your average online shooter, you have yourself and the enemy. You running across a floor and you have forward, backward, left and right movement and vertical movement from the occasional jump. Hit Reg is basically desync for a number of factors. The geographical location of the player and the system specs of the player. Player 1 jumps in the air and strafes left, evading an incoming shot. But due to the desync of player 2 being in another country and on a subpar PC, on his screen, the player didn't strafe or move until after the shot. So to player 2, he got the kill, but to player 1, he dodged it. The server then runs calculations to determine who actually won the encounter, and it usually results in one of them screaming HACKS! And we're back to the anti-cheat segment of this video. 
But in Sea of Thieves, there is a lot more to take into account. Waves, height of ship on waves, speed of ship, location of player ship, is he jumping, is he moving, is the ship turning? How does this calculate when the other player on another ship is doing the same thing? Areas of intense action. But improvements are coming, and Hit Red should feel a lot more smooth in updates to come. So it's all sounding pretty snazzy, huh? Well, let's move on to the controversial topic finally. But first, are you fed up with your top of the range console? Or your top of the range gaming PC? Are your frames in Minesweeper causing you a headache? Then worry no more, my little chums. The wonderful people over at Apex Gaming PCs are just what you need to put a smile on your face. The perfect place to craft and build your PC for those of us who don't have the foggiest. Look at little Timmy here. He just got his Apex Gaming PC and he's very happy. I'm very happy. Use code FALCOR at checkout and save yourself some cash. All links are down below. I killed Demarco. Double gunning, or more precisely, quick swapping. For those who don't know what quick swapping is, it's a method which can be utilized to increase the speed of firing shots from two guns. Now, I'm not going to tell you how this is done, because, well, CFD's partner. But it's been a thing for quite some time now, and they've tried numerous times to fix it. But us little monkeys always find a way around it. However, they have finally fixed it, and quick swapping will become a thing of the past in future updates. Now, I know this is going to potentially anger a lot of people, as this has become muscle memory for a lot of players, myself included. But remember that the game combat is evolving, and balance across the board for all weapon types are being worked on. There is a great saying about balance in games. When everyone complains equally, balance has been restored. You might not like the idea of this being removed, but try to keep in mind that balance changes are coming to all weapon combinations. And although you might see quick swapping as a skill gap, it's not by the way, you'll find new ways to create the meta for perfect combat setup in the future. If you're miffed about this change, it's because you're imagining a world where this is nerfed and everything else remains the same. It won't. Things will change. Balance passes will occur and players will adapt. If you think that quick swapping is going to ruin your combat experience, then you really don't have much experience, do you? If that's all you rely on. But anyway, all in all, some great changes to the game on the horizon, and some much requested features, nerfs, and buffs. More exclusive news about Season 10 to come in videos next week, so until then, calm seas, wind in your sails, and all that other good stuff. Oh, crap, I forgot. Hang on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, oh, oh. oh ah. Okay, now we got. Oh. Subscribe.